Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about how the narcissist will test your kindness and consistency of being kind. Now we've talked about the do-do test before. To see how much abuse you will take. And if you will take back the narcissist after they abuse you. And yes this can be a test to see how kind you are as well. And actually how forgiving you are. They will also add another test to the mix of things they are doing to you. You see narcissists are the ultimate data machines. They are the ultimate scientists. They test and test and test. And then they take a look at the data. Add it all up. And see if you are worth their time to abuse in the future. Oftentimes. If the narcissist gets data back that doesn't add up. To show you to be a good victim. They will discard you within the first few months of knowing them. This is what happens often when you get to know someone. And then they for no reason just ghost on you. Now they can be a normal person and are just busy with their own life. That's entirely possible. But if you noticed weird behavior before they stopped talking to you. It's a good chance they were running tests on you. They noticed you had good boundaries so they moved on to a new target. That being said. What's this extra little test they run on you? Well narcissists know they aren't consistent. They are nice during the idealization phase. Then they crap all over you during the mean part of the do-do test. And they want to see if you're the same. That's right. They want to see if you're just like them. Or if you have a big loving heart. A loving heart that's consistently good. One simple way they do this is. They will share really good news about new happenings in their life. No matter if they are real. Or just a lie. And they do this to see if you are happy for them. Or if you are jealous. Remember narcissists are very very jealous. And they know how to read jealousy. Even when someone is pretending to be happy for them. So they want to see are you really sincerely happy for them. And celebrating their success. Or are you jealous. Now they will do. They will do this test over a period of time. On separate occasions because they want to see if you're consistent. Are you going to be happy for them regarding a particular success of theirs? And are you going to be jealous at another success of theirs? They will do it randomly when they see opportunities to do so. And they will collect and analyze the data of these tests. And if you over a good period of time show yourself to be non-jealous and sincerely happy for others and their successes. They know you are for real. Or at least they feel that you are. And I wanted to make this part clear. Because even though most narcissists start to reveal themselves after a handful of months. There are some that get smarter with each relationship. Just like a learning computer. And they've learned how to hide themselves for years. So be very careful if you're using this as a guide when looking at others and if they are disordered or not. Because you might end up being wrong. That being said. This is a test a narcissist relies on because they are hunting. And though hunting is never perfect. They rely heavily on data they gather from certain tests. To be able to determine for themselves if you're worth the risk to continue to hunt. And when they see consistency of someone being non-jealous. This registers loud and clear with the narcissist and tells them to proceed with their plan to narcissistically abuse you. While they are doing this. They might come up with random life problems. No matter if they are real or fake. Just to see if you will research their issue for them. And take time away from your life to fix whatever problem they have. Not offer possible solutions. But take on their problems as if they are yours. And you will work these problems from beginning to end. Without regard to how it might affect your own life. Now though this is something a narcissist might do to get you hooked. They oftentimes show up at your lowest moment. With all the answers to your problems and willing to help you out with whatever issue you have going on in your life. And though very smart well learned narcissists can cover up who they are for a very long time. There are many narcissists that reveal themselves after a handful of months. Which is where this once kind loving person that was helping you out with all of your life problems. Is now do doing all over you. 
making fun of you, criticizing you for no reason, put downs out of nowhere, gaslighting, and projection, and the list goes on and on. So their kindness and generosity doesn't last forever. But they want to see if yours does. So randomly they will throw things out there. Like a fisherman throws out their line. And they want to see if you will take the bait again and again and again. Pushing your life to the side. All in the name of helping them. And if you consistently demonstrate to the narcissist. That you are a selfless boundary less person. It's a green light for the narcissist to move forward. You have to see these demons as predators in the wild. They calculate. They stalk. They look for certain patterns. They test. And after all of that. If all of this data leads up to showing you as a prey item on their menu list. They will pounce. And though there are many good covert narcissists out there. You must look for patterns too. That being said. Never say to yourself this person or that person is 100% good because the patterns seem right. That's black and white thinking. And that's what the narcissist does. You need to understand. A narcissist can jump out of nowhere. Even if they've remained hidden in your life for several years. And a good person can sadly do bad things because we are all people. People that are flawed. But when we start to wise up that narcissists run these tests on us like mad scientists. It will help us understand why boundaries are so important. You know. I will never stop being nice. That's just who I am. But. And there is a but. I have to keep reminding myself. To not cast my pearls amongst swine. You have to know. There are people to stay away from. And people you just can't help. And I also started to learn the art of teaching someone to help themselves. There's a major difference between someone that just flat out fixes your problem. And someone that points you in the right direction to fix it for yourself. Narcissists are looking for fixers. They are looking for bleeding hearts that are willing to take on all of their problems. And push their own problems to the side. But if you're the type that knows your problems are important. And you must take care of you first. And you then share with this other person how they can help themselves. A narcissist over time will realize. You have boundaries. That you're not a fixer. And you've shown this consistently. And you're not a prey item. And most of the time they will discard you to find someone else. Now that being said. I'm sure there are some narcissists out there that might see you as a challenge. But for the most part. They need supply. And they see they aren't getting it from you. So they will move on. Because the tests they gave you provided data back that showed you wouldn't be good prey. Well I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please share your stories below. Because the more we share. The more we grow. Like I always say. Knowledge and wisdom is power. The more we know. The more we can lead happy and healthy lives. Until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.